Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever you may be. I am Mezzo9, and welcome once again to my Mezzanine, where today I'm going to be playing a little bit more Binding of Isaac. I still haven't unlocked any other characters, so we're playing as Isaac again. And let's quickly go back and remind myself what I unlocked last time. Right, it is the Spelunker and the Radioactive Spider. It's entirely luck-based, so we probably won't, but... I'm going to hope to see some of those, one of those at least, in this run. Again, probably won't. It's luck-based. So let's get started. I think this is my, um, not including the warm-ups, second run. What am I saying? I think it is. I know it is. It, it, it is my second run. And I explained everything to you in the first part, so I'm not going to bother doing that again. To be honest, I'm only making this video because I wanted to play a bit more Binding of Isaac, but I didn't want you guys to, like, not see everything I do on here. And I wanted to play it so badly that I didn't care that I'd have to make another video. <laughs> not that I dislike making the videos, but it's a bit of a time commitment. And, you know, I've already made one today. Which is as much as I usually try and do. Actually, to be honest, it's not that rare that I do two videos a day. Alright, we've got the Book of Shadows there, which I don't think we've got in a previous run yet. And that's going to give me a shield that I can use with Spacebar, but it takes a while to recharge. That could get me in that room for um, half a heart rather than a whole heart. And we might do that in a minute, it depends how the boss goes. But first, I think it should be here, is the secret room. Ta-da! I, I don't know why I did my own musical sound effect, because that was one of its own. Oh no! Right, I've got to leave this in here now, because I'm taking the My Little Unicorn, because it is my favourite item. That and the Game Kid. But I'm just going to show you what this does quickly, because otherwise I'm not going to. So, that barrier would protect me from all damage whatsoever. And I can't remember how long it lasts. Never can. Here we go, it's gone. In fact, this lasts for just about as long, also protecting me from all damage. But it also gives me a huge amount of damage dealt on touch. Ah, oh, the Widow. I hate this guy. But he's not got a chance when I've got this. Epic item. Just epic. Lunch, delicious. Got that last time as well. Did I get the um, horn last time? Or was that in um, one of my early runs? My warm up runs? Well, let me know in the comments. Because I'm not going to go back and... To be honest, it's probably in a run I didn't record. Oh, that's a nasty pill. Bad trip. Damages me. But the other one gave me two blue hearts, so it's kind of equal trade. I can go in there, but it's not worth it because it's got no coins. So let's head on down. Oh! That is a bad memory. Sorry, I don't normally watch those through. I haven't watched those in a long time. I'm just leaving them running for you guys. <laughs> I've forgotten half of them. Let's get in there and kill this spawner before he spawns anything else. Should have done that a little sooner, to be honest. And I've got an itchy nose. Brilliant. Brilliant timing itch. Much better. Did I miss a chest in here? I did according to the... Oh, right, yeah, it's in the middle. I do have such a great memory, don't I, guys? And girls. I, sh I, I shouldn't specify guys. Because gamers are of both genders. And to be honest, I think my current subscribers are pretty 50-50 on the gender front. Oh, 
this is a good item. Uh, I can always come back in and grab the my little unicorn in a minute. So, well, this isn't tough from at all. Let's move on then. What's this way? Wait, well, I've done most of this way. Ah, oh, brilliant. This is going to be a heavy amount of walking about this time. I don't like doing a lot of walking about when I'm recording. To be honest, it's, it's not really something that I like doing anyway. You'd never see me out on a bright sunny day going for a walk. If you would, that's what I'd be doing right now, because it is a bright sunny day. Actually, there's not a cloud out there looking out my window. Of course, gorgeous day. Hadn't even noticed. It is five past four, and I hadn't even noticed the weather. Hmm. Sounds about right. Right, let's see if we can find this boss, or at least a bomb to look for the secret room. Maybe three bombs, because I've got a few bomb things I wanted to do. So, that cobweb slowed me down, and I forgot that it was there. That wasn't pleasant, because I was managing to stay off of um, losing red hearts. Oh, shit. hate it when they do that. You wouldn't think that, that hungry zombies would be quite so intelligent as to um, intelligently track you down, as it were. Right, I've got no clue where the secret room might be, so I'm just going to bomb here and hope for the best. Still gets me the chest, so I'm happy. Might be another bomb in that chest, you never know. Nope, pills. Okay. What do they do? Mm. It's the I found pills, which make my face go funny. Great. Well, let's see what the boss drops. Maybe it's the box. Pin. Pin's a good one for this item, to be honest. Because he's he moves about some. Oh, that was right on him. And it's the box! Awesome! I think I'm having a good luck run. That's a good item. That's a good trinket. And bomb's a key. Not always good, but I needed it in this case. That was actually really good. Right, let's blow up there. Om nom blue hearts. Oh, um, the flat penny, I think it makes keys drop when you pick up coins. I should have picked it up before I picked up the coin in that room. Would have had more bombs that way. Right, uh, what else can I do still? I've got some keys and a bomb left. I could get that chest over there. Is it worth it for my last bomb, though? Screw it, it's a locked chest. They usually got something pretty good in them. What you got? Screw you, locked chest. Right, let's grab my horn again. Because apparently Isaac's horny today. What? What, what, what am I saying? I haven't told you what the death card does, but it's kind of pretty obvious. It kills things. It, it does high damage to everything in the room, I think. I don't know, whenever I use it, everything dies, so... I'm not really too sure on the specifics. be quite nice if I can save it for mum. Oh. Stand still, you silly spider. That's a lot of money, because these black coins are worth five. And there's another gold one underneath there, if I can... Okay, I got them both, but still. I think you saw that there were two there. 
I'm going to leave the chest for now because I have got two keys, but I might want to go into the shop and I definitely will want to go into the bonus room. Now, this is something we haven't come across in previous run. It's, um, uh, you know, I'm not sure what it's called, but basically it's a heart that I can take as damage, well, half a heart that I can take as damage, but if I manage to pick up another one without losing it or hold on to it till the end of the floor, it becomes a whole heart container. Which is pretty handy, so I'm not going to pick it up yet. I'm going to pick it up when I'm ready to leave the floor. Or if I come across another one. Kill him before he blows up the entire room. Oh! Well, that's another serious bit of luck. Because I think I've only actually got two of those on the same floor once before. No, twice, but I... I'd lost one in the meantime. Why didn't I just do this? I'm an idiot, that's why. Oh! Ten bombs, just when I needed them. This is a seriously lucky run, guys. And girls. I I'm doing it again. I should find some non-gender specific terms, such as... Folks, peeps, homies? No, because that could offend the gays. Hmm. I'll think on it. No, nope, it's not there. Alright. Oh, I need to go into the shop because I've got 15 coins, which is the most that whatever the shop item is could cost. Battery! Score! So I've got my favourite item, the item that makes items recharge quicker, I've got the flat penny to get me more money, I've got the death card, I've got plenty of bombs, I've run out of keys, but meh. Oh no, the penny helps me get keys, not money. I keep forgetting that. I always forget that. But still, I don't think I could be having much of a luckier run right now. Although I'm not playing particularly well. Oh. Oh, yes. That's the achievement you get for breaking a certain number of rocks. I think it's 50 or something like that. And that's unlocked the small rock. Which increases your damage and sometimes appears when you break a blue brick. What's this? What have we got? Two of spades? Spades is keys. Done. Two keys. If you have two or more keys, it instead doubles them. Although saying that, if you've got two keys, double is still the same amount. Let's get this one dead. Or at least inactive while I kill the spiders. Yeah, inactive's good, because then I can come over here. Crap, he's blind, isn't he? Right, I'm just going to stand in this corner, and if he shoots this direction, I'll run away. Alright, I'll stand in this corner, and if he shoots this direction, then I'm in luck. Come on. Right, now you can die. Oh yes, keys all the time. Brilliant. I'm going to save that room for after I've beaten the boss. Because I've got a lot of hearts, and I'd really like to get a devil room if I can. Okay, this might be a bit of a tough room. I really don't like these guys. Shit. Can outrage them. There, 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 there. Outrage them. Though. Which I always forget. And it probably is the best way to fight these guys. But they're all gone now. To the next room. Whew. That was a bit of, um, dodging. That wasn't a bit of dodging. Are any of you gonna... Crap. Okay. 
not getting a devil room this floor. So, I'm going to pop in here and see what I can get. Oh, level here. Guppy's tail and a couple of hearts. I'm not sure what Guppy's tail does. Maybe I should look it up at some point. I've never known. But I do know that it's one of the few Guppy items that doesn't have negative effects. As far as I'm aware, it does say cursed, so you know, it probably is negative and I'm just not noticing. I can't get that heart. That's annoying. I can keep looking for the secret room, though. And the super secret room, why not? Oh, what? I wasn't expecting that. Cursed skull. That teleports me out of the room when I hit half a heart. I do not want that. I'm taking the flat penny, thank you very much. I think I've checked here already, actually. Yeah. To be honest, there's only really two spots left to check. No, wait, it can't be there because of the... Um, yeah, two spots. Which are here. Or... Here. Where the hell is the secret room then? Huh. If you guys watching at home have any idea, please let me know in the comments. Keeping in mind that if the secret room were next to the sacrifice room, there would have been an open door in there. Although I probably would have noticed that. I can go to the shop at this point. There's other items in there that are wanted and I've got enough money for them now. Sorry for all this back and forthing, folks. Yeah, folks works well. I like that. Alright. What do we really want, then? I'm going for the pills. Pretty fly. Yeah. Pretty fly for a bomb guy. No, bad reference. Old reference. Slightly racist reference. Why am I not doing this? I mean, why else would I have this? Ha! Owned you! Oh, what? Well, I still got the devil run! Score! Picking up this. Dead cat. Really tempting now that I've got Guppy's tail. But it does have some pretty hefty negative effects. Such as dropping you down to only one red heart. You know that. I've got it in previous runs. Now nah, I'm going to leave it this time. You know, I'm not entirely sure how the battery works. I know that it recharges my item quicker, my spacebar item, but how much quicker? And I just realised I forgot to go back for the um, competition room. Oh well. What was going on there? Why was he on the toilet? I had my eyes shut. Because I was wincing. Because I do that when I realise I've just been an idiot. Like now. Oh, crap. Haha! And I ran straight into the other corner and another spider. Right. Thank you, Mr. Fly, for protecting me there. Money, money, money! No, no, stop referencing songs that you don't even like. And are ridiculously outdated. Whoa. That was close. Actually, it wasn't. I was just overreacting. 
Mostly because I wasn't expecting it. To be honest, I wasn't really that focused. I was having one of my mind drift moments. Right. Now you stand still, Mr. Fly. You know, so I can kill you. No, not you, Mr. Fly. Enemy, Mr. Fly. Wow. What am I doing? Who am I talking to? <laughs> okay. In here we have got... The Anarchist's Cookbook, which I'm putting back because it's not great. I'm going to hold on to my coins for the minute, but I will come back to the bum if I have coins left over at the end of the floor. Or don't want anything from the shop. Just quickly check into the secret room. A little annoyed that I didn't find it on the last floor. I don't understand where else it could have been. And this is a tough room. Why is my item not recharging? I'm sure it should have recharged by now with the battery. I mean, as I said, I don't know how it works because it's not exactly an item I get very often. But still, a bit more money, which I missed, and a half a heart, because that's helpful in great quantities. What's in there? Ah, oh, is that the liver? That's a good item. And makes me wonder if I should have picked up Guppy's tail after all. You unlock Magdalene! That is a new character! Brilliant! I will be playing as her in the next run. And the Yum Yum Heart. Which she comes with, so, you know, I'll be getting that either way. <laughs> okay, that's a boss room. Battle room thing. So, I'm not going to be able to get in there. I don't really need a trinket, I've got a reasonable trinket right now. Again, if I've got money left over at the end of the floor after the beggar, I will go back there and see if I can get the cancer trinket, which is a really good item. As horrible as the disease it's based on may be. Sorry, I'm quiet, I'm just focused a bit because I hate these dudes and none of them seem to be dying probably because I haven't had any attack up upgrades oh thank you mr. fly for protecting me once again okay I'm gonna ignore him because he's trapped now ah crud screw this Whew, that wasn't the most pleasant of floors. Oh, dime! I meant rooms, but that that was a worthwhile bonus on the other hand. Let's see if we can find the shop now. Oh, bloody hell. Nope. See, that's why I don't generally use bombs in combat, because I'm shit at it. <laughs> I suppose that's a bunch of free keys. <laughs> oh. No, you stay on that straight bit. Yeah! I really do hate these greed heads. Mostly because they make you drop money, which makes getting hit by them all that much worse. But also because I'm not very good at dodging their attacks. And they take a lot of hits as well, which is never pleasant. Tammy's head! I need to recharge the unicorn's horn, really. Also, this is a little annoying. <laughs> Let's go up. Oh, 
screw you game. Alright, where next? Well, I was about to say left and then the um, secret room's probably down from there, but no, there is no secret room on this floor. Well, there is a secret room on this floor, but I've already got it! What am I ever on about? Come on, blow yourselves up. Oh, that might do it! Whew. The bean has appeared in the basement. Really, really crap item. I thought I got that last run. Whoa, can't believe how much um, health I'm short. But I am having a bit of a tank run. Oh, screw you, Greed. Thanks for the money, though. And the coins. And the bombs. Well, it looks like there is no shop on this floor to buy everything from, so I guess that makes it time to, um... Oh! I've just seen what the battery does. M my item starts half-charged. I see. I see. Yeah, it's more like AC, but... No, wait, battery, that's DC. Yet more proof that even when I know what I'm on about, I have no clue what I'm on about. Yay? Oh wait, I was going to go to the beggar for... Uh, screw that, and he's um, all the way by the boss, and then I've got to come all the way back here, and you guys must be sick of all this back and forth thing by now. So, you're going to die. Then you're going to die. Then you're going to die. Death to the flies! No, not you, Mr. Fly. You're fine. You just keep circling my head. Death to the other flies. Because they're trying to kill me. Yeah, I know that I broke their shit, but... It's not the point, Mr. Fly. It's just not the point. Go outside. I really should. It is a lovely day, but... No, I'm playing Binding of Isaac. Oh, just blowing up then. Fine. Whatever. Bombs are key. 16 bombs is more useful than 16 keys, in my personal opinion. You might differ, but I'm the one playing the game. By you might differ, I of course mean your opinion might differ. Learn to use your words properly. Isn't that right, Mr. Fly? Maybe I should stop talking to the um, fly now. Isn't that the third one of those I've got this floor? I am going to try and leave that there again. Guys, being rather high output, and someone's banging on my wall. I think it's the pipes rattling, it does it often. No, nothing that time. How about this time? How about this time? There we go! Ooh, map, nice! That's a really good item. I don't think I've got this in a previous run. Tells you where everything is on the floor. On every floor. So, oh, uh, okay. I was about to say some more rooms are about to appear on my mini map, but no, apparently this is a dead end up here. I know I don't need the coins. Doesn't mean I don't want them. Because I's a greedy bugger. Isn't that right, Mr. Fly? In here. Oh, bloody hell. Why, why did I go in here knowing that it was a dead end? Why? Because I'm thorough. Oh, screw you guys! No, not viewers at home. These guys with the maggots in their chests. that are really about to kill me. This is not a great sign. Right. 
Let's go face the boss. You know, if I take another half a damage, I can get in there now. And that's only half a damage. But on the other hand, I've got a Catacombs Grade boss to fight. And they're never easy. I've got the death card. My item's not fully charged yet. Oh, that's not good. That is really not good. I've got the death card. Oh, the husk. This shouldn't be too bad. Until he does that. Right, I've got him down to half health. Gotcha! That is how one fights with bombs. Since when do I refer to myself as one? It's not even correct grammar. Magic 8 ball! You know, as many bonus items as I am getting, my tears are kind of crap still. Oh, another beggar. Give me an item. Or don't. Oh, I've just remembered something that I can pick up at this point. Yeah, I figured. Whoa, hey! That's going to be a full heart when I reach the um, stairs down, Varad. Oh, I should have brought in Tammy's head. It's a good combat item. I'm not going to take it downstairs, and I would have liked to show you it. Okay. So this is becoming something of a gambling room. And I'm cool with that. Because that's often a great way to get some good power-ups. Like whatever this is. Two of clubs. I'm going to use that now. Double my bombs. 28 of them. Legendary. As Mr. Stinson might say. <laughs> that might be the most current and mainstream reference you ever hear from me. Right, I've got a second fly follower. And no coins to get in, uh, get any more from you. Well, do you know what that means? Got my bomb back as well. Right, where am I going next? Good chance of the super secret room being there, but I really can't be asked to go all that distance. I know I've got plenty of bombs to check every single wall, but I don't care. I just want to get on with this run. I'm 33 minutes in. Bloody hell. 33 minutes. Um, right, so you can see now that the map's given me a full map. And the secret room is here. Lovely! Manage! Up, left, or down? Let's do this way first, it's a shorter branch. Oh, bloody hell, these guys. They're even worse than the maggot dudes. Mostly because these ones have infinite range. Oh! <laughs> Whew. It's often pretty tough to pay attention to all of them. Although I could at least pay attention to the one that I'm shooting at. Oh, what happened there? He just glitched downwards. He probably didn't glitch. I probably knocked him with a tear. Rusted key instead of flat penny. Is that a good trade? I'm going to guess it no, because I've absolutely got no idea. With some of the more... more um. Well, with some of the better trinkets, you can actually tell what they're doing, but not in this case. Right, I'm going in here. I don't care that I've got low health. Ooh, attack flies. Handy. Do 
So let's go down next. Hate these dudes. Screw it. What's the point in having this if I'm not going to use it? I did that because that's obviously a worthwhile trade off. One bomb for three. The only challenge to this room is um, the guy in the middle, who always shoots one last shot after the um, fly dies. Last fly dies, or last enemy, whatever it might be. I probably can't afford anything, but I suppose there's no point not going in there at this point. I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. I'm probably hitting the keys far too hard. I'm sure you guys can hear that at home. Taken that for sure. Don't care that I needed to waste a key to get it. Got plenty of keys to waste. What's in there then? Oh. Don't like those. Especially when I'm low on health. Bombs are really effective against these guys. I forgot that a minute ago. Ooh, red patch. That's good, but I'm sticking with the flat penny. Stick a bomb over here. Get that chest when I come back in. Okay, what I'm going to do here, this is the remote detonator. And I will show you how it works quickly. It's a pretty obvious one. I place a bomb using the usual bomb key rather than the space key. And normally it would have blown up long ago, but now it just waits till I hit space. And this is an infinite use item, which are pretty rare. But I don't like it. <laughs> I suppose it could be pretty useful in the right situation, like with those mask guys. Justice. That's a good one. Slidey heart. Right, um... All the way along here next, then. Oh. Not exactly the easiest of rooms, but not exactly the hardest either. I just walked right into that. Why am I telling you? You saw. You did see, right, Mr. Fly? I've got two of them now, so I guess Mrs. Fly? Yeah, I got a little a bit of a um, family of flies starting. While I'm killing other flies, I'm sure they love that. Oh, I don't like these guys. Oh, that was a... Happening. Complain all you like. I am using this item as much as I need to. I don't know why I'm being silent now, because these guys are easy. Like, I'm pretty sure that they're the easiest enemies in the game. They're certainly the easiest enemies with a boss bar. But the full version of it... I don't know, they're still pretty easy! Especially considering how deep down it is that it shows up. Uh, yep. Yeah. This is not a good room at all! Well, that wasn't the worst of runs. I got lunch, the box, boom, the battery, guppy's tail. What was that? It wasn't 
the liver, because the liver's next. I, I guess it was another meal. The map, the magic eight ball, and of course the entire time I had the my little unicorn item. I did pick up a few other items throughout the map, but I'm probably not going to include them on my count. I'm just going to include the stuff that I died with. Uh, I think I've actually included them on previous counts, so I might. I don't know, I'll figure that out when I'm um, typing it up. I uh, don't think this run went too badly, but that was a really nasty room at the end. They, they kept cornering me in that red stuff, and if I step on the red stuff, I take damage. Uh, and I didn't have enough attack damage throughout most of this run. Uh, I really don't like being low attack. I like to be able to kill my enemies quickly, especially by that point in the game. But now I'm just making excuses, which I really shouldn't be doing. It's a hard game. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Oh, oh, oh I, haven't, I haven't checked what I unlocked. Collection, no, it's not in collection. It's in stats and view secrets found. I unlocked the bean and the yum yum heart, didn't I? Oh, and a small rock. Beans on there twice. Huh. Beans on there twice. Random. So, I'm definitely going to get the Yum Yum Heart in the next run because I will be playing as Magdalene. Mad Madeline. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, no, it is Magdalene. What am I saying? Uh, I really, I'm not a big fan of the character, mostly because she's slow and doesn't have bonus attack to make up for it, but I should show you the character at the very least, plus it's the easiest way to show you the yum yum heart as well. Anyway, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed the um, this run, and I hope you return for next time. If you did enjoy it, please press like or favourite, subscribe or comment. If you noticed anything I could have done better or that I got wrong, leave me a comment and let me know. And see you all next time. Bye!